Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back again to the Pinedons playthrough. Oh, man. Setting them up, knocking them down, folks. Antimony Oxide. Now, this is the new newest in, uh, newest recipe. <laughs> There's more to come for this. It gets worse from here. Yeah. Hi, whale. I'm going to send the whale now and cut this belt because he's just floating around. So I got the store food fill empty. Uh, here it is, antimony. You know, I love if I clicked on this, I could go to it. Refocus. Let's send him. There he goes. Okay, yeah, look. You know what? Ah, I, I deleted that. I pulled that aerial caravan up and put it back down. And they are still going south. I think what they're doing is they're going south to go north because they only move in angles. But why can't it go ver you know, horizontal, then up? So, yeah, I don't know what's with these weird, weird whales. They're weirdos. Anyway, that's the antimony whale. And he's heading up over here. So, I, yeah, I want to say they're trying to angle in. Oh, I re... I ripped out some rail. I simplified this. You know, it was one of those things. I was reworking the whole rail system, putting the four lane in, and I just slapped where whatever went wherever. <laughs> so now I got the fuel coming in here. It's kind of overkill. I would like to pop off of this here with maybe a, a single, you know, entry point. And then I could get rid of all this here. But it's not hurting anything. If anything, uh, less signals, that's one thing too. The less signals you have, the better. Because when trains are running around, they have to, the signals have to communicate with the train and vice versa, you know, and all that. that it happens, you know, in the code. So the less signaling you have, the better for performance. And you'll know that by when you yank up rail, uh, you'll get track lag. And when trains are running, well, you don't want to do any ripping of any rail because you get, the game like literally freezes in place. I've had that happen. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, yeah, let's go through this thing a little bit. Uh, I don't want to deep go in. I want to run it and then go through it. But if I do that, I might have to fix something. So, you know, everything is subject to change when I see if I have a if I mess something up. Yeah, this one's a mess. Now, there is uh, lead acetate here. So we need the acidic acid. I've done this before, and this might be something I pull out of builds eventually, but it fits in here. What would be nice is just bringing in the lead acetate and then belt, you know, train it in. So I ha uh, I just want to get this thing done. Oh, my bots are dead. <laughs> and then Dal Froth. Yeah. Now, I need needed this for the heavily endoped or something. And oh, I'll let those guys work. Uh, this the wafers. Here they are right here. Right here. So this antimony crap is here. So I'm thinking it would be nice to swing back around and you know, kind of simplify this. But I have to figure out what I need here because, see how I'm venting the, this stuff here? Oh, that's the 58%. Ooh, yeah, I should swing over here. Yeah, this is basically uh, an antimony oxide build without the, the vial, you know? So I could pick off of that build and bring it here. So what am I needing? Yeah, right here, the number two. Okay. So that's something. Here's the number two stuff right here. Uh, right here. So it's going right... This is the... Wait a minute. Uh, oh! So the number two, I can't resolve it. Right. It's consumed, though. You know, I like this idea. So I might cut a train in... Just to pick up the number. Yeah. I'm glad I saw that. Wow. I could take this crap here, train it up, 
The only problem though, is that if this antimony isn't being used, I may back, I may not have this, right? So the question is, do I keep it separate, you know? So I, I'll think about that now that I have it on my head here, my brain. Because yeah, I'm venting the two. And so let's go into hell mod really quick. Now what I did is all these things here are not available. So if I go, if I do the pin thing, here's the one, here's the two. So that's fine. The two is used here for the pulp three. So if I click on this, you notice it's not available, but I wanted to put it in here because I wanted to, you know, have it so I could see it. And this is the like the next phase here. And then eventually, this is the 58.3. The number two, here's the, the two to three. Three, uh, let's see, three goes where? Oh, here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read it. This is low concentrate. I don't know where that's coming from here. Uh, pulp one, I don't know. I don't know if I have it all resolved yet. This is kind of cool. Low, oh, here's the low concentrate right here. Yeah. Oh, the low concentrate gets turned into the 11%. Oh, and here's the 11% right here. And that gets turned into the 56 or 58.3. Okay. So that's how you get, you have to convert that back into the end result here. So the issue is that the t the level two, you know what? Maybe the level two would run regardless. Well, I don't know. See, that's the, th let's get rid of that. Now, here's the two. If the 58.3 backs up, wow, it's only 20%. That's weird. So yeah, if the 58.3% uh, backs up, then the pulp two ceases to be produced. So this system, I, I wouldn't mind pulling from here, you know, just to, you know, have it, but is it, it's not going to really help me because I now I have to cut a train into that mess. So I might as well just leave it the way it is. And the antimony oxide is being delivered up directly. So I think that's why I did this because there was no resolve for this, uh, level two, st um, the level two stuff, there's no resolve. So in a sense, I'm doing the exact opposite there. I'm venting what we need here which is the 58.3%. And this is in a sense why this build is so damn out of control because we're not able to capitalize on that, the pulp stage two. So uh, basically what's gonna happen is this is gonna come out here and then uh, I probably have to do something, well, the oxygen furnace stuff will come out and move down. So that's why I want room, you know, cause these builds are freaking enormous as they are. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through this. I think it's, there's more to this than what I'm doing up north. I think it stops like right here. So I get the grade four. So let's take a look at that old, the old nasty antimony. Here it is. See how much smaller it is? <laughs> so uh, we're taking the antimony, it looks like dust. And then we're crushing, cru you know, uh, Screening it, crushing it, level three. Here's the two, yeah, here's the uh, grade four and it's right in to the oxygen furnaces. So right up to here is what I've, what I got up going on there. So right here, uh, I've got a lot going on here. So we get a iron oxide and stone as well as the grade one and two. So stone is coming in here and getting crushed into sand. The iron oxide is going down south, and that is going to be combined with the titanium belt, or you know where the titanium belt is, and then going to the aluminium to be picked up by TSM. So sand is also going south out of here too. So what I have here is a couple collection points. So I got all these inserters. The long arm is whitelisting gravel. And the regular inserter is blacklisting gravel. Hey, I got a blacklist. What do you know? Now, I don't like using blacklist because it has the icon of what I don't want. I mean, it has to have something on there, right? So 
um, because so I can't discern what's what, you know. But it's either that or filter everything out and whitelist, you know. So I'd have to. F it's just simpler to do two, one than two in that case. So the gravel is going this way and collecting here. And then I decided to do the same thing on the bottom, going this way and up and collecting it here. These are very fast, so I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. So then uh, the sand comes out and goes south. There we go. So then uh, once we get the grade, so this is kicking out the grade three and four. It's only a 40% chance to get two grade threes. Uh, so that's, this recipe is kind of the same as, you know, it's all the same. The grade four is what we're after there. So now over here, because there's not much grade three, uh, we're just crushing it and sending it on its merry way. So this is the filter here, grabbing it, putting it back on the belt. And then also the grade three is coming from here as well. So that's the two. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, so it goes here. So what's going this way is the grade four. That's why this is prioritized uh, on the belt first. And uh, so, and oh, and then this is lime coming in here. And I'm side loading. As you can see, I'm side loading here. And this inserter is on the outside. So it will be pri the prioritized that nature is prioritizing here, you know, uh, the nature of the belts. So this inserter gets to place first, and then the lime side loads onto the interior. So that's what's going on here. Uh, it's a half belt, uh, half red belt for each, grade four and lime. So it works out here. Now this belt here, undergrounding all the way, is from here. And this kicks out a little bit, 50% chance of grade four, but and uh, the antimony dust is what we're after, and it takes this crushed antimony, which is these guys here. So lime plus the grade four gives us the uh, crushed antimony. So these are the inputs. This is the output. There is nothing not more to worry about here. Now, since this machine, these machines won't kick out too much. I decided to put it right here. Now I could uh, dip the belt and have inserters grab for both of these machines, but I think I'll be fine. The other, uh, it was kind of tough because I couldn't really get in here. Uh, I could move these belts a little bit forward maybe, uh, like this inserter I could move up and I can move this belt over. If push comes to shove, I, I can adjust this a little bit, but I figure this machine should be able to handle it and then and it's at the end so i could take these two here if need if need be and this these two machines are prioritized because they're the last you know first on the to put on the belt so any the byproducts here will be taken care of that's what the you know the concept is there so we got the input and eh, that's the grade four kick out and then we got the dust here the antimony dust and then that goes on down to the agitators. And this is where we need fish oil, of all things, lead acetate, and antimony dust. And then we get the pulp stage one. And this is the lead acetate build, as I mentioned here. And then over here, we're just doing piping fluids now. It's only calling for one pressurized air pump. And because these were buffed, they have more, they require more power, but you need less of them. It's really nice. I like that. And now we've got the one. Here's the, let's see, where are we at here? Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to connect that. There we go. I thought I had that in there. Okay, good. Glad I saw that. <laughs> it's one of those things you'll find it, but it's good to find it before you start the thing up. So the uh, pulp stage one here, this is the Dow froth here. And then, uh, so we'll go down here, lots of pipes. And Dow froth is here. So we just got to bring in it's chromium for two things. And then 
I have the ethylene glycol on the network now. Methanol is on the network. In fact, I beefed it up a little bit. And chromium we're bringing in for two builds. So I have it here just so I know it's know to do it. And the, oh, methanol, I think, is for this too, the lead acetate over here. So I'll have pipes going to, you know, all through here. Fun times. And then, oh, and then we have plastic and the fuel for the oxygen furnace. The plastic, it's quite a bit. I'm hoping it'll work. I might have to go to the plastic build where the augs are and beef up the loader so I can get more loading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, so carrying on with this here. So we've got the, this is the 58.3. You can see it right there. You barely see it, 58%. So like I said, the two is going all the way down and dumping it in the big cave. Oh, if you read it, it says you found a large underground cave. Why not dump your unwanted liquids there? <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So that goes there, and then uh, the 58 point set, the 58 percenter, 58.3 antimony goes into the oxygen furnace now, as opposed to the grade four. And then we get our 10 antimony oxides. And so also get, uh, this is the output belt here. So I might, uh, I think I'll have a loader come in here and I'll load up the antimony, but I want a big case, you know, with six mini loaders on it. So that's how this is going to go. So I'll get, oh, and then I, uh, it's positioned this way because of the trains. And so I have, you know, plenty of room here to get the tanks, whoops, go down one, uh, the tanked ones in here. This is my gauge right here. So that's why it's up higher. So I can put my tanks in. So these are two, these are output belts here. So I don't have to worry about anything there. I don't, I don't think there's any tailings. I didn't notice any as I was building it. I could have, I'm hoping I didn't miss anything here. So let me use the map view here. I, I didn't see anything tailings wise. Which is very interesting that you don't have any anything but sand and the iron oxide here. Which is kind of, that's definitely unusual. Not to have a, you know, a, a, a tailings output, so. Oh, and then hydrogen, oh god. This uh, lead acetate, hydrogen peroxide. No, I, I probably have that under control. It was tough to get it consistent. But with the upgrades and stuff, the Mark II stuff. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Did our whale buddy get here yet and everything? Let's see. Yep, there it is. Oh, I uh, I thought I set the train up. Might as well get the train running here. So, I think I got the... Oh, I didn't wire it up. So, let's go ahead and do that really quick here. And then we'll go antimony. Okay, 4,000, 2,000, two trains. I, wanna, I leave the two in there because I what I can do... I think the LTN is reading what's in the case, maybe, and it's determining that's what a train worth is. I don't know, or maybe it's reading the train and how many, how much space it has. So this, it, the antimony stacks to fifty here. So a, this is a full train. I think the high tech train. I want to say it's. Oh, maybe it's one less row. So whatever's in here, yeah, I think it's four thousand then, yeah. So four thousand. I don't know if LTN's going. Oh, you can fit four grand in your train car. So oh, and this is set wrong. So uh, so I don't know if it determines what that is, and then it sends the trains accordingly. Uh, oh, I gotta set this here. There we go. Hard to see it on the belt there, but it is going. There we go. So this will fill up to three grand. And then the whale will go eventually. I, I, it'd be, I'm interested to know how they how they program this. See how it goes down a little bit? And then the whale... It looks like it acts based on if there's one row. And then it'll export. By the time the you know it hits, there's a little bit of the second or second slot there. Not row slot. So I think maybe that's how it goes. There we are. 
That's the, oh, I don't have a counter on that. Yeah, this is... Uh, and you know what? That's fine. Yeah, I don't need a counter on this crap. Oh, but you know what? Well, yeah, I, I don't have a... Since I don't have a counter on it, I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. Let's see what's going on here. 224. It, it can accommodate a full train, this case. And everything else is small quantity, you know. The lime and all that stuff. Rare earth oxide, silver, and all that. So, yeah, I think I'll be fine not having a counter on that. Oh, I got to power this up, too. So, I'll get the trains in, and uh, we'll flow this thing. One thing I wanted to mention, I... Oh, look at this. I did this off screen. So, I, uh, I put this in. This is the uh, advanced casting. And I wanted to get it in here to figure out the belts. So I just, I can't go with that. I'll just build it. And then I got to tear the other one out. I, I can't tear the other one out yet. But I have to get this figured out before I start to move the casting over here. Because that'll happen, I think, as soon as I'm done with all the ore stuff. You know, so we got, what, two more after this? Uh, well, there's gold, too. I got to get gold done. Uh, I, I just want to get the machines up there and as a reminder, you know, as a placeholder. So what I'm doing is uh, this is all the sand inputs here. Uh, then coal dust goes this way, so it's a filter. So all the sand is collected here. And then the only thing is this right here. Oh, so there's one thing I've got to do. And I think maybe I can go out this way here in underground. Because if this case goes higher, you know, than I want, you know, like, so let's say it's full. Um, I have, oh yeah, I know what, I think I'll have to have a belt here or a, a splitter and it'll prioritize the case. And then I have to go here into this one right here. I pulled that up. So I think I'll have to do that. Let me put this here. Oh, man, I'll, I'll just put it here. So that way, I, yeah, because I'm worried. You know, you got to always get fail safes. You never know what's going to happen. So I'll have to pick off here and then have TSM pick up the sand if there is extra sand. So there's 15,000 in here. I wonder where that, how'd that get up so high? Huh. So, oh, silver ran. Yeah. There may have been solder that got picked up or something. I don't know. So this is the coal pickup, just in case, right here. Goes down, and it prioritizes the advanced casting here. So I haven't turned this on. Obviously, I'm waiting, you know. And then the sand for the advanced casting comes out here, all the way up, and I'm feeding directly right here. So I don't need to deliver sand to anything for the advanced casting. The only thing that's being delivered here is the quartz, coke, graphite, and whatever else is on here. Uh, oh, and the coal dust is here just in case zinc isn't running for whatever reason. Uh, the advanced casting, I don't know. Zinc and advanced casting, I don't know if that would relate. Because zinc is plate casting, right? It's just the regular sand. So small parts would have to be running and rods and things like that. So there's no guarantee that zinc will run. So I'm leaving that here. But uh, so I'll have to call call that train, you know. So surprisingly, zinc has not run because you would think it'd be here. So here's another. Oh, and then I've got this uh, in mini loader here is wired up for 2000, I think. So it won't go above the 2000 because you don't want to fill this case up and then there's no room for the train to unload you know so that's the coal dust and then yeah so i handled the sand issue by just directly feeding the washers here for the pure sand and then we get our silicon now when it comes to i need to have this on the network so that will be belted as well up this way and I'm going to feed, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way over and up. Um, and then this sand casting here 
is going to go up as well. Now I could do a splitter here and go up with two sand castings and I can leave a two gap belt for undergrounding because, you know, I like to have two, um, two gaps between the belts just in case. And then I'll do the casting here, uh, like I was mentioning, this stuff. So this will dip down. Whoop. And that's why I want to do the, the sand casting up this way, the belts. So that I can feed in from right to left. And the same thing for here, the advanced casting. You know, I, now I'm thinking about it, the advanced casting, I... I might want to take this one here and do this first. But the problem is I got this massive lane. Eh, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Because I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm just thinking it'd be nice to have the advanced casting closer and be able to terminate that belt quicker. I kind of like to do that. Because we need it for the rods, the cables. Yeah. So there's one, two, three things. That's it. So it would be nice. Now I could, you know what? I could do that. I could put a that I could do this right here and then pop it in right here. I, I think I'll do it that way. Now I think about it. Um, and then this one here, uh, the lower one that's curving down. Uh, it depends on where this one falls. It'll probably be right about here somewhere and go straight across. And then maybe this one can go straight across too. Uh, I could always go right up here too. So I don't mind how long the belts are. That's the thing. Belts are highly optimized in Factorio. So, so I think that's it for there. Oh, and then, um, another thing I thought about this and I cut it out of the episode after I thought about it. So I was recording and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. And I'm like, and I thought about it and I go, wait, so I'll cut that out. Cause I'm backpedaling. <laughs> I try not to backpedal on episode. So these things right here. So these are going to move. And I thought at first I was going to move them up here. I'm like, oh, I got empty space here. And, you know, this is the hub. And well, I might as well move it here. And, you know, all these alloys that use the plates. And then I got the Vitra alloy, uh, intermetallics. And then this, uh, I think it's it's iron, ne iron nexalate antimony, special alloy or whatever. So this stuff here, if you notice, well, this one is independent of anything, right? So we, we bring in the plate and all that. So this one's fine the way it is. Now this, the inner metallics, get this. It uses the vitre alloy and this one. So here I am thinking, oh, well, I can belt this, the vitre alloy build, Offer on the network, put a bigger case, of course. And then I belt it to this build right here. And also this one. So I'm going to build these three together, clearly. And then offer each one to the network because we need each one, you know, for building. And the inner metallics is only used for building, which was kind of interesting. I actually went through 100. <laughs> uh, I think I went usage here. Right click this one. 135 entries. I clicked through every single one and not one is used for directly to science. I should say directly, but the shaft obviously is science because the mechanical parts are one and then the mechanical part 02 uh, uses the shaft MK1 to, you know, two and all that. So I, yeah, I think the yeah mechanical part one is used in two or some way, shape or form. I'll have to look at it again. Uh, but it's indirectly used in science. So yeah, I guess you could say it's indirectly used. So, um, this one would be at the end. And then these two would be before it, you know, and you feed the belts to the inner metallics. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm glad I saw that relationship because, you know, when you're building this stuff, you're like just trying to get it done. And okay, I got Vitter LA and it was a big feat to get this stuff here. The Vitter alloy, because, you know, the trains, man, it was over a year ago. Same thing with the inner metallics, and this stuff came later. Uh, I don't know when. That, the lab equipment uses this stuff here and some other, you know, building and whatnot. Uh, inserters use these things, too. So I thought, oh, yeah, you know what? I could put this all together right here and belt, what these, belt these two here 
Victor Alloy and the Nexalit stuff to the inner metallics. Offer, offer, belt, belt, boom. This is done. And this stuff down here, look at this. Uh, we got Nexalit. That's interesting. Oh, I love that color though. Nexalit and the Antimony. Niobium and Titanium. There's another. I might be able to do like a, a low unload case and get all the, like do a couple. I could do a dual loader or unloader and have two LTN commoners, one red wire, one green wire, same case. And then I can belt out of this, out of one case. So I could bring in all these materials here. And they're all within the same area. But I don't want to belt stuff out of the casting areas. Because uh, it's going to get a mess, you know. So I'm trying to keep the mess down. I don't mind trains kind of training around a little bit. But yeah, so I will, you know, you have to get a list of stuff. So we got one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are repeated. Titanium, niobium. Okay. And then this is a, just an outlier here, the cobalt, you know. But we need this for our super alloy. We need this build here. And those big mining machines, eventually we get to those. So, uh, yeah, so the goal is to consolidate all this and these three here. And that's all I have, I think, on the map right now. So consolidate all that in this area. Holy cow. So we're going to have a mega... A mega ore processing and plate casting area. It's going to be crazy. So I'm really excited about getting this moved too, you know, and getting all this moved around. Because now now I have a vision of it, you know. So it's kind of in stages, you know. I guess that's kind of how I work. I start to see relationships as I go. And then I kick myself. <laughs> but I I like, I enjoy it because it's exciting when you see these things. You're like, oh, cool, I'm going to do it better now. That's what's fun about it. All right, I'm going to get these trains hooked in, and we'll flow this puppy. And then next episode, whoo-hoo, Molly Benium, and the diamond. And then I'll get the, I'll landfill these lakes. I'll get the gold, kind of just some basic machines there, because it's a whole chromium process on top of the, then it, and the gold is on the back end of it. So I, I'll try to get that done and get it all roughed in up there, but because we're going to need it. All right, let's do this. All righty, folks. <laughs> it's all... All trained up and they're ready to go. Boy, this is a pain in the ass. So I try to do I try to do good work on my power poles. These next slip power poles are the shiznit. Let me tell you. Look at that. That is beautiful. I had well, cause these dual rows, you know, here kind of eh, or whatever. No big deal there. But look at this. Zoop. All straight lines, baby. I do my best. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's because this belt's in the way. I could move this down. Ooh, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. No, I won't. I'll forget. Yeah, so I, I like to do neat, neat power poles. All right. Well, here we have lime. I have some lime. So, yeah, one case for that. Kind of, well, you know, it, it's okay. I don't mind it. Then we got uh, methanol, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you know what's funny? Hydrogen peroxide. I always think about you know injury, you know wound care. <laughs> you know it's like oh hi, what's so difficult about hydrogen peroxide? Oh my god! Then you come to pyanidons. Oh my god! Carbon dioxide and fishy oil. There we go. Make sure it's there. There. Wow, that popped quick, man. This one's kind of a pain. I got an inserter here fast. I could switch it to a stack if needed. I didn't feel the need for two, you know, double-sided yellow belt for this. So chromium, lead, and chromium this way. So what we got here, there it is. I'm doing 1,000s on that. And then we've got this one. This is, oh, plastic and the charcoal briquettes. Here's the problem. I need a lot of plastic. And this is where LTN, again, <clears throat> thresholds. Uh, so I'm making it 725700 And when it gets down to 25, you know, yeah, then it'll bring a bunch. But in the meantime, it'll be bringing the plastique. So there we go. 
And then this one here, I, I'm pretty sure I have this on the network. Whoops. This crap. Ethylene glycol. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that way up north. Uh, I did that when we were working on the animals. Okay, there we go. Trades are really... It's really getting responsive lately. Yeah, ever since I fixed that problem, I mentioned this last episode, I think. Holy crap. The trains have been responsive. So I had a really big lag. Now, it does sometimes take a while. But yeah, look at this. All yellow. It, it sometimes would take... It would take even longer. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of hard to... I can't remember exactly, but... Man, they're fast now. Lead plate... And chromium. Wow. Boom, boom. All right. This will fire up the lead is it acid, acetic acid. There we go. Now I got the acid, um, acetate. Lead acetate. Cool. There we go. Now we got it. I like these. These are cool. Glug, 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 glug. I like it's the same graphic on the heat exchangers, I think. That's what it seems like. Because they got that cool water look, you know. Oh, that's the chromium. Yep. That's weird. Oh, you know what it's doing? I copied and pasted the damn uh, mini loader. Because I had a mini loader. And it does this. Freaking pain in the ass. It takes... The, it overrides the stack. For some reason, a mini loader doesn't... The stack override does not matter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And... So you could switch it on. I think you could switch it on and off, and the mini loader will still, you know, go at the belt speed. But if you copy paste from a mini loader to an inserter, it it then changes it. So it's kind of a pain. Oh, froth is going. There we go. Oh yeah, there you go. Glycol. The ethylene glycol is moving along, and, or we got the uh, dial froth, and that's gonna take. Eh, that's not too bad. It's just how fill the pipes up so let's see oh i put this rail in here while i was just getting a mental break from that so i put this i copied this rail here and put it in and just went straight rail and eventually this will move over that's a good plan so you could see and i wanted to kind of get this in my head as to what the spacing is so um yeah i, I can do uh let's see where is that at here? This one, right? Yeah, so I can just copy the this part here. Oh, and I can rearrange uh, the Moltons, too. Because I have them way back here. And I'd rather have them up front. So, yeah, maybe I'll redesign this whole thing. So that's where that's going to be. I doubt the curve. Uh, the curve down will have to come from up here. I'll curve down and give myself some room. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> what a mess. So I had to do a dip down and some undergrounds here. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I got it now. And then I had, I forgot to put a damn long arm here for the gravel, and I had the wrong blacklist, whitelist. Just dyslexic crap. There we go. Dyslexia. There, so the, yeah, here we go. That's that's going along. Okay, now we got our little powder chunk. Our powder puff thing. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that's going. It's a long belt. Holy cripes. So what's going on here? All right, it's cooking now. Oh, ah, I got a thing. Yeah, the inserters were exporting incorrectly. All right, I had a couple food pods. Oh my God, what a pain. So we got the grade four, grade three coming through. And now we got the these little shaker things. Classifiers. Agitators are going. Last tate's fine. Here we go. Okay, now we got some action. There we go. Fine. So the problem though, is okay the 58.3 percent isn't coming through as fast so there's something hanging this up over here 
Uh, let's see what we got. See the yeah, the grade four is coming in slow, and it might start going now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had to. Oh my god, I screwed this up. So these are all going. Okay, that's all good. I might be limiting myself here. Oh, look at this. Wow, okay. Okay, there we go. So this one will be able to export the, or uh, get the stone in there. There we go. So we need definitely need two. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not too worried about... I don't care if it's bumping out like that because this rail is way up here. This is the last one here, so we'll be down here. Maui Benium isn't that tough. It doesn't look that bad. You know, we've done it before. So I'm going to go with a fast on that one. And that one. This one here... I'm fine with the stack. And... This one I want to leave stacked too, because this this is kicking out a lot of gravel and sand, so I think we'll be fine there. All right, it's so working a little better. Oh, this is backing up now. Oh, okay, we'll have to do that, I guess. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we. we yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that was backing up. You know what? Now I think about it, it's probably. Let's look at. 0.16, 0 0.53. Yep, that's why. That's why. Because this side is having, it's got way more kick out. There we go. Okay, now we got it. And I think this is 11 rounded up. Uh, so one of these will stall out for sure. There we go. And that should do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, side loading like onto a belt like that, it was basically lim I was limiting the, uh, the throughput of the belt here. So now it seems to be moving along. Let's do this. There we go. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm tired working on this thing for like hours. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Look at that go now. So, yeah, it was a little bit over a red belt. And then add this in. Well, this was fine. It was this one. Alrighty, folks. Well, it tight. <laughs> I had to cut there. Because uh, after it's all said and done, I had to sit here and watch this thing for a while. And I then it dawned on me. Uh, and I usually don't do this. But in Hell Mod... In the antimony oxide tab that I have here, I forgot that I factored in all these technologies that we don't have yet, like this one. <laughs> and I'm like, so I'm I'm looking at this build. I'm like, well, why, why am I only operating one or two of these oxygen furnaces? What the heck's going on? Well, that's because this is built to to resolve the uh, pulp stage two from the antimony. I'm like, ah, oh, how dumb am I? So this one, oh, wait a minute now. Do we have this? Oh, how come this one didn't come up? There is a pulp stage two to antimony here. Oh, and it takes prod? No way. Wait, do these take prod? They do. Well, I'd rather have efficiency in there, actually. Because, well, now that that wasn't popping up. And hell, well, you know, hell mod, it gets confusing. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. So I'm vent here. I am venting pulp stage two. And what I noticed is was was the uh, fifty eight point three was only uh, running two of these. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pipe the stage two to like three of these here. Well, I'm glad I saw that. Holy cow. All right, so let me see if I can do this. 
All right, let's pull this up. I, I guess prod is fine. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna no, I'm gonna do efficiency because the fuel burn, you know, it's better off that way. So now uh, these two here pull this pipe, and now I gotta delete this, and then the stage two is here. So I think. Okay, this one here. Okay, right here, like so. Now that's two. Boy, I'm glad I saw that. And here's two right here. Bam. Okay, that should do it. I'm gonna uncap this really quick here. So what I'm gonna do is copy the content, the uh, filter there. I'm gonna run that. Now, this won't run until the 58 starts to clear out a little bit. So let's let this run here. This is a, yeah, this I, I was dreading uh, this antimony stuff, but I'm glad I see that the two can be done. Now, what's going on? Oh, there's a lot in here. <laughs> wow, that stacks up to 48. That's because it's 10, you know? All right, so these are going to run. That's going to run. So the pulp stage two... As soon as this starts to go. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Oh, wow. I'm glad I saw that recipe. See, in Hellmod, you know, it, when you're clicking around, see, you know what? When I clicked on this, on that entry there. See, look, it's not coming up. Oh, there it is. Well, you know what? It threw me off. That's what happened. I didn't think that this was a vile. I thought it was just uh, another one of... That's that's what got me. Okay. Okay, the two. There's still not much two coming through. But the the point of the matter is is that this hell mod entry here is taking all these pulp stages, and then with complexity we get the ability to support five oxygen furnaces. So okay, I'm better with this now. Okay, so. Okay, look, we got three going, but, eh, well, it's kind of off and on. Wait a minute. Wasn't this one just going? How many is kicking out here? Three. Oh, it's only three. Okay. So now I'm curious about the other one. Okay, this is the one I'm using now. One, then three, then ten. So I'll take this because I was worried that I wasn't going to get the output from the other one, you know, the same output. Oh, let's do this here real quick. We'll cap, recap that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was a little worried. Oh, the other other problem is I need grade four. This is the dust here. I need the grade four for the complex circuit. And that I think is here. Uh, right here. Let's see. Does this kick it out? Yeah. Now, I think uh, I'll have to cut a train in here somewhere and do a pickup. I might be able to do it here. Uh, I'll have to move that belt. Yeah, so I could go really close here. Be, and, and then I can shut down the other antimony, uh, the old antiquated build. And I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. Because that, that doesn't run very much. So I'll have to pick off right here. And then go down and over. Yeah. So I think that'll work. So I'll do that um, in between cuts here. Or, or in between uh, episodes. What a holy pain in the rear this antimony is. <laughs> Man. Yeah, and then I had that limiting factor. Oh, I might want to... I think this is fine. Uh, but because yeah, this is a limiting. I'm limiting myself to a half red belt. Like I said, I was really tired when I was doing this thing, and I I have a mental block with with the antimony oxide because this is the first actual big build you do for pinadons, you know, because you have to have the antimony oxide to get the other to get the trains up and running, and then I, I scaled it up, and yeah, but there's a lot going on between here and here. There's so much crap this thing puts out. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to go too crazy here on this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be better. <laughs>
Peace out.